Heyo everybody, welcome back to video number two. This is the HX35W turbo upgrade that hopefully some of you want to hear about so that you know what the flip is going on with that turbo because I've been going back and forth in my mind struggling with what I want to do and I'm sure some of you are like, what the heck guy, just make up your goddamn mind and figure out what you're going to do with that thing and put it on the truck because we want to see it and hear it and know what the hell's happening. So let me just say that this past week I have been in contact with Turbo Lab of America and we have been discussing a little bit of what to do with this turbo and pricing on it and what I've come to conclude is that I think we are gonna go ahead and send it out to them and let them do their thing and get this thing back as a brand new turbo to put on the truck I got to thinking more and more about doing the rebuild with it with the build kit that I got in the mail from diesel auto power and quite honestly I just I I could go that route, but we all know that it's gonna come back off the truck and we're gonna wanna rebuild it later on down the road. So really, what is the point of doing that? We're gonna pull off the HY35 that's all tired and worn and, and just beat and needs to get pulled off to rebuild that and have as a, as a backup, a spare turbo basically. But then why would we wanna have to put that back on the truck after we rebuild it to run it for a little bit if we pull the HX35 off down the road to have it sent out for machine work and getting a bigger compressor wheel and turbine and all that? We're not going to want to do that that's a lot of work and a lot more money that's going to be tied up and invested into it so if we're going to do this then we might as well do it right and we might as well do it once so my thoughts are indeed we are going to send this thing off to boot camp aka turbo lab of america with austin and ian down there and just have the work done on it here probably within the next few weeks it should be getting sent out to have this done uh i'm just i'm not even gonna mess around with it it is what it is the truck needs a bigger turbo on it anyways to complement the 125 horsepower injectors yes we can baby the truck with the throttle and our right foot not having it act as a hammer and mashing that throttle down and spiking our egt's up there we can make the hy35 work with those bigger injectors but really what's the point of having them in the truck if we're not going to put them to work and use them as they're meant to be used so in order to use them in that manner we do have to force more air into the engine to burn that extra fuel and unfortunately the HY35 can't force that air in the engine and the HX35 well it can force a little more air but still not as much as it needs to so the HX35 is a slightly larger turbo than the HY35 I've already I think I've gone over this already in a previous video the HY35 has a 9c cm housing for the exhaust housing and the hx35 comes with a 12 cm exhaust housing so it is already slightly bigger and i do believe that the compressor housings are a little bit bigger too in fact i think i have a picture of the two side by side so i'll try to track that down and if i can find it i'll put it up in the video for you to see them side by side and you can see the size difference alone right there in the photograph but still even being bigger than the hy35 the hx just isn't going to push the airflow that we need now obviously with the HX35 your wastegate is not hard hard tapped right in so on the HY35 you have a hard line right out of the compressor housing that goes into the wastegate actuator on the HX35 you have a boost elbow with a rubber hose with a rubber line that you can do more with you can pop that boost elbow out of the compressor housing of the HX35 and get adjustable boost elbows that have a little allen set screw in them and you can tighten or loosen them up to allow more airflow to go through there and basically you can up the boost pressure pressures from the turbo now I'll still have that option even after having the work done on it and getting a bigger compressor and turbine but the bigger compressor and bigger turbine are going to help us by moving more airflow as it is and then we can use that adjustable boost elbow to set our boost level to a good safe zone without having head studs or anything like that on the truck in hopes to not blow a head gasket or anything like that to, to just not do damage to the truck so we will get a bigger strong Longer turbo out of this deal that will still flow more air and be better for those 125 horse injectors they'll basically complement one another in the way that they should complement one another and then we can set that wastegate to a good safe psi for what the truck is capable of handling at the moment so the other main factor for just going and having this work done obviously is doing it right doing it once but then later on down the road with doing more to the truck it gives us something more to grow into without having to make another purchase or 
have more work done or anything like that. It all falls back to the doing it right, doing it once. We get this work done now, we put it on the truck, we can control our boost levels with the adjustable boost elbow and get us some more airflow, but not too high. We can run up there 35 to, I'd say like 39 pounds of boost. They say not to run over 40 PSI without head studs in the truck. I don't know if I'd be comfortable pushing it up there that high. I'm not saying that it's not safe, that it can't be done and that other people haven't done it. I just don't know if me personally for my truck would want to be up there like that. So I would probably be comfortable at like 35 to 37 psi of boost and just keeping it like that for a little bit until we decide to do more mods to the truck and up the horsepower a little bit more and we're able to get head studs in it once we can get head studs in it and make sure that the trans is healthy then by all means all bets are off and you can bet your bottom bottom dollar that we will have fun with that sucker but that's a while down the road and we're not looking to do any of that crap right now you all know that this truck right now is just just my work truck basically and obviously it needs general maintenance stuff and we got to have a little bit of fun with it too so that's a quick update with the HX 35 the big secret the cats out of the bag we've been talking to Austin this past week from Turbo Lab of America if you don't know who they are they've got videos all over YouTube go check them out Austin's got a lot of good knowledge and good information on YouTube and on their webpage and they've got some good products and rebuild kits and things like that so if you guys are in the market or need anything like that then by all means go check them out if you're looking to just learn and get some more information as far as how turbos work in the ins and outs of them by all means go check out their YouTube channel because like I said man he they really know their stuff and they've got a lot of good information so that's gonna do it for this one. My little girl's out here right now with me. So we are gonna do some stuff with the truck as far as cleaning it up on this, the rest of this gorgeous day here in New York. I'm gonna get off it here and I'm gonna wrap this one up so I can go spend some time with her right now. I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like on your way out. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know about that giveaway thing if you wanna go through with the BD low fuel pressure alarm giveaway. And I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Peace. So yeah, we definitely just need to send this sucker out. Look at all this extra meat right here that we don't need. Just think about this compressor wheel being so much larger and this just being machined down to next to nothing. So we got a big old billet wheel in there just just ripping. That's what I'm talking about. I'm so, I'm so